Happy Friday! It's Fun Facts Friday time! Yes, it's always exciting on Fun Fact Friday. Yes. So I hope you got a lot of good facts for you tonight. We are because we actually are going to answer our viewers' questions. And we have had some emails, some different questions people have asked throughout the weeks. So today we're going to visit some of those questions. And what I realized is some of those questions, we're going to come, have to come back and do like a whole show to expound on those questions a little more. Because some of them I'm like, okay, we'll give a quick little answer. But there's more to it as you start looking into it. There's more facts that can be shared. So mm -hmm. we're definitely going to have to. Yeah, so we may have to just do um, one, show, one show per question. Exactly. Exactly. That's what we're going to have to do. One show per question. Because some of them go, got a little deep. I was like, oh, I've never thought about that. <laughs> so, yeah. So, right. right. Before we get into the questions, how's everybody's week been? Good. Good. Looks like you're crafting. purple. Your week has been purple. Your week has been purple. Okay. Okay. Because we're back in the purple. <laughs> oh, oh, I'm like, purple. Oh, I'm like, wait, what? <laughs> yeah, I was like, purple, okay. I was thinking, okay, I guess you'll explain that later. I wasn't getting it. But yeah, we are <laughs> unfortunately back in the purple. Most of California, if you are in California, majority of California is unfortunately back in purple. So I'm starting a curfew tomorrow. Yes, please be sure that you abide. And I'm saying this now because this is all that we're going to say about this topic. Um, please make sure that you do abide to the curfew. Um, I know for Solano County, I, I believe it's for all of California, is 10 p.m. to 5 a.m. So please do not get in trouble. I mean, there are, look it up, there are guidelines that you, you know, if it's an essential need, if you're traveling to or from work, something like that yes but please don't just stay safe um, everybody yeah stay safe um so today is november 20th 2020 it is national absurd absurdity day and national peanut butter fudge day um peanut butter fudge day that actually i wish i had known that earlier I might have tried to find some peanut butter fudge and or some peanut butter fudge ice cream. You know, that sounds like that might be a Baskin Robbins. We always come up, we're gonna go to Baskin Robbins or cold stuff. Yes. <laughs> right. But mainly Baskin Robbins, because you know they have 31 flavors. So we are destined to get whatever flavor we of the look that we that we're looking for. Well, what's you your know, flavor of the day? But you know, um, Cold Stone, they can add peanut butter and they can add fudge to vanilla ice cream or to whatever ice cream we want, and we can make it our own vanilla fudge ice cream. Mm. We'll have to we'll have to do a poll with a hint of peanut butter. Huh? If you're watching, we're gonna do a poll. If you're watching. What would you vote? Cold Stone or Baskin Robbins? Cold Stone. Cold Stone or Baskin Robbins? You vote Cold Stone. <laughs> Me, I long hey, as I'm, ice cream. I'm, you know, I'm a BK31. <laughs> a B, or BR31. BR31. BR. BR, yep. Long as long as it's ice cream. But today is so it's peanut butter fudge day. And it is also. National Absurdity Day. Now I was like, how do you have a day to be absurd? Well, today is a day. It means to do something strange, witty, um, something that just makes no sense. No sense. Like that is so absurd. Like you would not okay. imagine. Like, did you really do that? Um, so today is a day to have fun, do crazy, zany, and absurd things. And you can do things you have wanted to do that make absolutely no sense at all. And it'll be okay today. Cause you'd be like, you know what? I could do it cause it's national absurdity day. Yeah. Um, 
So there is oh. an <laughs> look. We do weird and crazy things. I know I do. You know, the people that are on here, our host, we, we're just absurd every day. So I guess, you know, we do weird and crazy things just because it's Tuesday. Right. I was like, there's a day for that? You can just, right. that's every day. Just because it's Tuesday. So, um, but on history.com, there is actually a story. It says in January 1913, one Ohio couple, because the U.S. Postal Service had just started their parcel service. And so they took advantage of it and made a special delivery. And guess what their delivery was? Their infant son. They paid because there wasn't a limit or any restrictions on what could be shipped using the postal service. So they paid 15 cents for the stamps and an unknown amount to insure him for $50. Then they handed him over to the mailman who dropped the boy off at his grandmother's house about a mile away. So granted, it was only a mile, but still you paid to ship your son just because there weren't any restrictions on what you could ship using the postal service. That one right there, that was absurd. And it was in January, so it wasn't done on National Absurdity Day. <laughs> they just did it wow yeah that so was I guess this day, you know i do stuff like that every day but i do want to say that um one of your viewers niecy said that um back to the ice cream question she said uh, baskin robin her. okay okay so we have one baskin robin we need some more people to vote for cold stone i'm rooting for cold stone sissy's rooting for baskin robins we need some more people to vote with us oh. For Cold Stone. Right now, Cold Stone. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. <laughs> yes. So we're going to see at the end of the show, we're going to keep saying Baskin Robbins or Cold Stone. That was, that's what we're voting on today. So, you know what, Sissy? This is absurd. Yes. This is, yeah, <laughs> we're voting on Baskin Robbins or Cold Stone. Huh? Oh yeah. Since we're talking about you know being absurd, but this, it's is, okay. this yeah. is what we're talking about. Crazy stuff. Right, but it's okay, we could do it because it's National Absurdity Day. <laughs> <laughs> oh goodness. So we have some questions that came in. Um we may or may not, yeah, we'll just go in order. One question that I actually thought was a strange question until I started doing some research. And it said, where do oxtails come from? Where would you think oxtails come from? Mm -hmm. So I was like, oxtails, I think they come from the tail of the ox, but as I looked it up on www.thekitchen, it's the K I T C H N.com. As I looked it up, I realized that oxtails don't always come from an ox. It is the oxtail is the tail of a cow, or it is the tail of an ox, like you would think. And in olden days, they did come from the tail of an ox. But nowadays, they come from the tail of a cow of either sex. So it may not necessarily be from an ox. And when we get to this question, it was like, you know what? That makes sense because are there really that many oxen around the United States for people to have oxtails all the time? No, but there's tons of cows. I'm I'm gonna start looking when we drive because you know California, we have a lot of cows. So I might start looking and see, do those cows really have a tail on them? Because I wonder if they just oh, did I eat your tail last night? Right, did I eat your tail? <laughs> <laughs> so 
So um, do they just cut off the tail and no, leave the cow? No, I was just being absurd because it's National Absurdity Day. So we can be absurd. <laughs> how you know? How you know they were not really right? Well, you know, hmm, that does make you wonder if they just cut right. the. Tail I can still use you for milk. Tail. It might not be time for hamburger, just oxtails. Hmm, that's a good question. Uh huh. <laughs> I so, seriously, that they just cut the tail off though. That is a question. That may be something we never know. We look, we're all going to start driving down and looking on the hills and looking at the um, looking at the yep. cows to see if they have a tail or not. <laughs> so, oxtails are good for stocks. They're best used for stocks, soups, and braises, like when you braise the um, meat. But at one point, oxtails were considered a part of the animal that only poor people ate. They threw it away. It was the waste because it's high in fat content and it takes a long time to cook. But and it, that made it really cheap. And so it was cheap to get. So it was like, oh, poor people will eat it because it's the cheap food to eat. But now um, it's become a delicacy because hmm. it is expensive. It is one of the most expensive pieces of beef that you can get as far as when you look at size and weight per pound because it can range from four to ten dollars a pound. I, I don't think I've seen oxtails as low as four dollars a pound here, but I just bought some oxtails the other day and they were today and they were eight ninety nine a pound so just think they could go up to ten ninety nine a pound so now because of the price they have become a delicacy because you do have to be able to afford oxtails especially if you eat them often well i wonder why they've go, gone up in uh, price maybe there's not enough cows around <laughs> Or maybe it was just the right people started discovering them. And so they wanted to try to monopolize on it and found that, you know, let's raise the price. Because they don't grow back like lizard's tails. No, they don't. And once the once it's gone, you know. It's, it's gone. But it's you right. know what? You know, they, they were cheap at one time because a lot of people said they were nasty and dirty. Because the tails, you know, wag down into the dirt and into their, you know, right. all that other stuff. Right. Just but, like um, chitlins. I was, I was just about to say, like yeah. chitlins. But you have to chitterlings. Clean them. Clean chitterlings. Them. Oh, chitterlings, yes. That's <laughs> chitterlings. Yes. Chitterlings. Yeah, chitterlings. So that's how it's spelled. We have to say it right. That's chitterlings. how it's spelled on the package in the store. Chitterlings. Yeah. Oh. You know, we call them chitlins. <laughs> chitlins. <laughs> Pig feet. It is that ing on there, right? Right. Pig's feet. Pig feet. Yes, that's another one that's chicken feet as a waste, but yep. it's really chicken feet to too. It. Chicken feet, chicken gizzards, chicken livers. I like, I like chicken gizzards too. Right. Especially All when they're of that. Hard. Yes. Yeah. Now they cost so much. They raise the price. Right. What well, used to be throwaway. Look at that. Don't throw mm -hmm. stuff away. That's why I'm a hoarder. Mm -mm. Nope. Nope. I don't condone that one. One day it's going to go up in price. And that goes with the mm -hmm. saying, one man's trash is another man's treasure. Prime example. Yeah. Right there. Yeah. Prime example. That wow. is that is it. And now, now everybody's trying to get in on our treasure. Right. 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 Exactly. They, they can have that one. That's unhealthy. <laughs> That's the only one. <laughs> What one? <laughs> All that stuff we just said. Oh, no, don't say we can't take away the chicken gizzards and yeah. eating, liver, eating liver actually is good for you for building your iron and your blood. So you can catch get, fish okay. with it too. So we can't get rid of everything. Yeah, catching the fish might not be so bad. Right, see? Mm. So before we go to our next question, we're doing a vote, we're doing a poll. Baskin Robbins. Awesome. Our Cold Stone, comment below if you're voting. Right now, Baskin Robbins and Cold Stone are tied. So we need some more votes. Sure. Baskin Robbins or Cold Stone. Let Where are we know. voting at? I got on late. Where you are we can voting? comment in the chat or if you're on Zoom with us, you can comment at the bottom of the Facebook Live or the watch party, wherever you're watching, um, you can comment and we'll be able to see it. We have different 
all, each of us are watching one method. So you can comment in the chat on Zoom, you can comment on Facebook in the watch party, or you can comment on the live video. But it only counts if you vote for Cold Stone. <laughs> <laughs> well, on my feed that I'm overseeing, it only counts for BR31. <laughs> yes, we got another Cold Stone vote. Thank you. <laughs> Oh, that wasn't on my watch. It's that wasn't watch, on, my, it's on watch. my watch party. So now we got another moment for Cold Stone. Okay. We're tired now. <laughs> so next question. No, no, no. No, no, no. Yes. No, hello. Yes. We yes. have one more for, for BK. For BR. Check for the chat. Room. Check the chat. Yeah. Okay, okay, I do see it in the chat. Bass mm -hmm. Brahms because they're easier to order from. Okay. And I don't know that. Reason. That is true. Yeah, I agree oh. with that one. Yeah, just order what you want. And yeah, you don't have to say, I want this, I want this size. Yeah, that is okay. That's too much. Valid too much. reason. I know. Valid reason. But just that's give me my black phone that and keep it a moving ship, right? <laughs> <laughs> the next question, is stretching your lip a sign of royalty? Um, I thought I had a picture and I guess it didn't say, but um, I don't know if some of you have seen when people stretch their lip in some cultures and it's a big hole in their lip, or sometimes people will stretch um, their earlobes. Earlobe, I see that. Yes. So, or there's some where they um, stretch their necks because they wear like the rings around their neck. Yes, I oh. have seen, seen that too. Um, so I did look up and found the lip is called a lip plate and mm -hmm. it i found it on mercy m u r s i dot o r g um and here's a picture and what it said what it said was that the mercy chai i hope i'm pronouncing these right and tirma t i r m a those are probably the last groups in Africa who it is still normal for women to wear large pottery or wooden disc or plates in their lower lips. Mm. Here are some pictures of the plates in your lip. Um, it says a girl's lip is cut. Ooh, gee whiz. Yes. And so they will to enlarge and have that large plate in their lip. And oh. a, a girl's lip is cut by her mother or another woman in her settlement when she becomes 15 or 16. And then that's when they start with a small, um, like a small piece of wood, and then they will gradually get bigger and bigger and bigger till they reach you know, their desired size. And those are actually like pieces of pottery, or sometimes there will be wooden disc or plates in their lips. And so this one is really large, if you can see. It's a wooden peg or ceramic disc. And they're there for about three weeks after they get cut to, for it to allow it to heal. And then they start putting the larger ones so that it can stretch. Um, in the reading, it says that once it's healed, it is not painful. Um, as it's stretching is not painful because it's healed skin. But it is a symbol of pride and identity for those women. Um, they, it is not mandatory. They can choose whether they want to or not. Some people believe that the larger the disc, it showed that your um, birth, birth um, bride worth is what it was called, but the amount that the person would have to pay for you to marry you. They believe that the larger the size was to determine that, but they don't think that's true because a lot of people were already prearranged marriages even before they got those disc and plates in. So that was, it was interesting, but the mercy.org, M-U-R-S-I.org, it had a lot more information if you're interested on that whole wow. culturally cultural process of that. And so this is one topic, how we said we have some topics that we will have to come back and visit and do a complete episode on. But some of those cultural things that we see and do they really, what do they really mean? You know, what in different cultures, they mean different things. It's not just, just for fashion. 
it was a symbol that they reached a certain age. <laughs> sort of how um, you have the Ken Sierra once mm -hmm. the girls turn 15 or 16 as a symbol like you've reached womanhood. This was something else that because it wouldn't happen until they turned 15 or 16. So you know what, real quick, what I found interesting in those pictures that you've shown, and I've seen it a lot on the History Channel, is that everyone that has those wooden, even when they have the smaller ones in there, they're all unique um, to, to that one person. They, I have not seen one that was alike, you know? So I don't know, is it... Um, something, you know, for your own personal, your own personal identity, you know, or what have you? Yeah, and that could be something, because like I said, it was a lot of reading and information on that. Um, <coughs> and they may go more into, do they, the individuals design them? Or how do they come up with, you know, is there meaning behind the symbols that are on their individual plates? So yeah, so we will definitely mm -hmm. revisit that one. Um, so watch for that. Wow. I know. I. It was nice to hear when they say that once it heals, there's that is not painful to do this stretching because that's the part when I see that I think, oh my goodness, that's gonna hurt. But next question: mm. What is the largest bubble gum bubble blown? How big was the largest bubble gum bubble that was blown? Two feet in circumference. Almost. Almost. What? Almost, it was 20 <laughs> inches long, 20 inches wide. Circum like right. the, um, circumference. circumference of it was 20. How did they grand. measure it while it was being blown though? I don't know, but it, it said it was achieved. This record was achieved in April, 2004 by Chad Fell in from Winston County, United States, according to the Guinness Book of World Records. And he did that by chewing three, um, pieces of bubble yum bubble gum. I was gonna say, did it say what type of gum he was eating? Three pieces of bubble yum bubble gum and he was able to do that. So wow. what I'm thinking, Guinness World Records. What, yeah, so um Desiree asked how did they measure that? What I'm thinking is is that he must have been standing in front of a wall that had some oh. type of shadow baby. You yeah. Know? Do it. Mm -hmm. But I don't know, bubble gum is sort of thick. And I don't know if anybody else ever did this. When you were little, you blow a bubble, you try to see if you could take the bubble and hold it. So bubble yum is a thicker gum. So maybe he was able to like blow the bubble and it couldn't pop before they yes. made it. I want to try. You got any pictures of those? I, I want to see you try that, Desiree. And I want to <laughs> see you right? pop and see, and see it pop. Okay. I know. All over your face. Pop all over your face. That'd be messy. <laughs> wow. But, you know, don't you remember um, being young and you would blow a bubble and you take it out and you see how big it is and then you pop it back in your mouth and something about yeah. that pop. Yeah, don't, don't do know. that around I mean, people oh. now. It's COVID. <laughs> right. 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 They'll be like, let me pop it. Yeah, don't do yeah. that. Okay, yeah. here we go. Right yeah, here. I guess... I'm going to share with you guys so you know we didn't make this up. Oh, you got a picture. Good. World record holder Chad Fell blows a wow. bubble. Oh, look. He's he not even going to move his hat. He not measures. So, no, they just measured that. This isn't. Oh, look. I didn't know you could blow a bubble like a pipe I didn't like either, that. But wow. that's why I think it's because it's the thicker gum. Probably sealing it back with his mouth some kind of way. That's gonna be all over that beard too. <laughs> I wonder oh, if it like yeah. stopped him from breathing because like his nose is like all in there. Can you look at the largest? Oh, oh wow! There it goes. Yeah. There it goes. yeah. How, how did they measure that? Yeah, it wasn't what you I missed saw. it. I saw a pop. Do it one more time. One more again. I saw a pop. Okay, hold on. One more again. Hold on one second. One so second. Let's all get um some bubble yum and get the blown. How many pieces of gum did you have to have to make he it? He said three. Three. Right? Three bubble yum. Uh, yeah, you'd have to because I'm like, bubble yum is kind of stretchy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, hold on. Let me. So challenge. Next week challenge. We all get oh, three. Oh, that's going to be a mess. We're going to get yum. some bubble yum. <laughs> 
There he goes. He's blowing the bubble. Listen to it, though. Yeah. We're doing this slow so it doesn't pop, letting it stretch out. How do they measure that? They, they froze it. They know, the, they know the size of the window, so they measure it against the window. So see, they probably did measure it. Or measure it against the wall. Measure against something that you know, and then you go from there. Well, then my way was the easier way. Then just put a yeah, that one. That one was easier, even if it's like how you're saying to put the measurement on the. But Hello? stop it. Have a measurement, um, like behind the wall or something. Mm -hmm. To see how big it's. So that was interesting. That was a neat question. Um, just a few more questions, real quick. How old is Thelma Harper? Who, who, like, is who, who, who is Thelma Harper? Who is Thelma Harper? Is. I knew who Thelma Harper was when I saw it. So share that with us, please. Gross. Thelma it's Harper. I found this answer on www.mama.com. Oh, she, I know her. Yes. Thelma Harper is the grandma mom on Mama's family. She's I got a clip. Her. You got a yeah. clip? Rude. We need yep. a clip. She I watch her every night. Um, Carol Burnett. Rude. I think she just told it like it was. In a rude way. <laughs> In a rude way. How about we say she was very direct? Mm. She was very direct. Yeah. I love Mama's Family. Okay, here's a little clip of Mama's Family. It's only a minute long. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and it's a holiday special. Yes. Look at them. Oh, here, we'll do this one. Because this one doesn't seem to be playing. Uh oh. Okay, I'll get one, that, one of them. I'll get one that starts playing and then we'll share it. I'll say it might be one of those things you can't play it on there. All that copyright stuff. I have someone who wants to say goodbye to you guys though, or hello. Goodbye. Say hello. Hey. Bye. Happy Bye. early birthday to my Gigi boy. Woohoo! Where's he at? Tomorrow's the birthday. I'm still talking to you. Where's he Come at? Come back on. What you doing? What you gonna do uh, tomorrow? Come. You can I have no idea. Yes. No, yeah. you just know it's gonna be fun, huh? Mm -hmm. yeah. So let's all happy birthday to you. Happy Woo! birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Elijah. Happy birthday, happy birthday to you. you. Woo! And many more. <laughs> <laughs> oh, big ten. <laughs> 10 years old. Oh my goodness. Wow. You're getting old. I miss you, buddy. Haven't seen you. What you want for your birthday? Mm. I don't know yet. <laughs> See, if you can say anything you want and you're sure you're going to get it, what would it be? Some cold stone. Yes. <laughs> Do you want cold stone or Baskin Robbins? Maybe Baskin Robbins. Oh. Ah, woo -hoo -hoo. <laughs> All right, there you go. That's my boy. Yep. <laughs> have a good birthday. Yeah, have fun. He went to the garage. Oh. <laughs> so, Thelma Harper, I stopped looking for the video. Aw. Okay. So Wait, I got one thing to say. I have one oh, thing to go say. Ahead. Go ahead. You know, my birthday was back in June. Uh huh. Uh -huh. And, and I didn't get that proposition. <laughs> you got that <Baskin> Robbins, though. <laughs> hey, you, you that only comes Robbins around because we knew you like Baskin Robbins. That only comes around once a year. Once I didn't a get year. the proposition. If you can have anything that you want, <laughs> <laughs> oh, the anything Ooh. that you want proposition. <laughs> right. Yeah. Mm. And so, be assured look. you'll get it. Look at that. Look, I'm, I'm sitting here like, wait, wait, hold on. <laughs> okay, here we go. Here's the mama's family. 
For okay. those that may not know who what yeah, Mama's family was. I still say Mama may be a lot of things, but she is yes. a goose killer. Oh, yeah. Then how come the table is all set? Ooh, I could have sworn she wouldn't go through with it. Oh, it smells <laughs> real good, too. <laughs> all right, now remember, not one of us is taking a bite. God, that woman is a cold cookie. <laughs> oh, you're all here. And just in time, too. Everything's ready. Everything? Yeah, everything. We have to pause it so that they won't cut it out. It's, we have to stop it for a second. That's Mama. We'll be right back with our That's Mama. Mama. That's Thelma Harper. <laughs> Poor Leland. This is the worst Christmas I've had since the year I got pajamas and socks. <laughs> Here you go. That is Leland? No. This is Leland. Come on. <laughs> He's alive! Don't tell me you couldn't kill him after all. No, I guess I'm just a marshmallow like the rest of you. <laughs> <laughs> so see oh. she was nice sometimes sometimes so that was her um tv name right yes her tv mm -hmm. name was thelma harper and on the tv show she was supposed to be in her 70s in her late 70s but her actress who actually played her part was vicky lawrence who was in her 30s during the time of that filming so what we just saw she was actually 30 playing a 70 year old woman and wow. now that was during the time of the show and she turned 71 just this year in 2020 oh, wow. so when that show was on she was playing a part of <clears throat> how old she is right now i wonder if she acts like she acted when she was being mama <laughs> i wonder if that's how she acts in real life wow that's a good question she yeah. was actually she was beautiful back in the day outside of all that she mm -hmm. was a very beautiful woman Oh. Yeah, I've, I've never you had her on the Carol Burnett show every night. Yep, it is. At 11 o'clock on me TV. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Couple more questions. We okay, have. Watch too much television. <laughs> <laughs> Can we have another game night? That was a question we were asked in our emails. And yes, sure, we can have another game night. Yay! <laughs> We will put together another Zoom Uno game. I think the Uno game was really fun, and Uno seemed to be a game that was easy to okay. play. You, everybody <laughs> went by Uno cards. Everybody went by Uno cards, so we have to play another round of Uno. <laughs> yeah. And that was an easy game to play virtually, so we will put together another Uno virtual Uno game. Um, we'll do that. We'll have to do that soon to do a Zoom Uno. I think it was good so that it didn't make um didn't put too much pressure on the host that they had to like come up with questions or something like that like where it was really involved again. everybody was involved yes mm -hmm. yeah and then we we had fun I think we ended up playing Uno for like was like two hours we ended up being on there it was like okay it's time for us to get off <laughs> right yeah so I think we all ate in between too right so it was it was fun we'll put together another Zoom Uno game okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Can we host a virtual shopping experience to support small businesses? Oh, I thought I thought you meant like I'll show you some shoes I have and you buy them. We could do that too. I have some stuff. That would be one too. Um, okay. I took it. I understood the question as supporting small businesses. A lot of us now are, you know, starting our own businesses or we're part of a company and selling things, and so. We can, if you yourself have a business or you know someone who has a business or has items to sell, tell them to send us their contact info. They can email us at funfactsfriday100 at gmail.com. They can send us a message on Facebook and you can find us Fun Fact Friday 100. Um, do the at Fun Facts Friday 100. You can find our Facebook page or if you, know us personally, get in touch with somebody, and let us know that you would like to showcase your business. And we also, that's part of our show, we will bring you on and give you a spotlight for a few minutes to showcase what you do, how people can get in touch with you. So yeah, that would be a neat 
thing, but we don't have to wait. We don't want you to have to wait until we have a large group of people. If you have a business, you can contact us at any time and share that information. Uh, yeah, even if they just have a flyer or something for us to share, yes. um, they can do that as well. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> yep. And please, if you know you're a flake, don't send us your stuff. <laughs> right. right. I please. mean, you know, some people, you they, they put out their stuff and they want you to contact them for a free estimate and they never even come. Well, I mean, if you want to charge us, charge us and then show right. up. If the, if it's the free that makes you don't show up. But if you just a flake, don't come on the show. We want you to be, we want what, you it's to real, 100, 100. Yeah, 100, we keep it 100 at all times. That's right. Yes, keep it 100. Wilson is right because, you know, you see a lot of times when you're strolling through Facebook or whatever and people um, purchase something from a vendor on Facebook, and they say, I'm still waiting for my stuff. And they not calling me back in. Yes. We right. don't need we that. Don't we don't, that. No. you know. No, no, we don't want that. A lot not of not 100, stay with your zeros. Right? And right, all of us, exactly. All of us that are on here today are entrepreneurs in some sense. And we conduct business like business. And that's what we want you to be doing if we are going to showcase you on our show. Right, right. Yes. Right, because we try to keep it uh, 200, okay? <laughs> right, right. But well, hey, right. don't come on, don't send me anything and saying that you're selling this and then um, say if you're selling, you know, some shirts. Don't have our people get on here and they want the shirt and then you say, oh, I only got it in a size small. <laughs> See, that's what I'm talking about. That's what, I, okay, that's what we don't want. <laughs> So before we go, for today, those were the questions we have. We did get a couple more questions, but for time's sake, we will address those. It is one that is, what do you do that comforts you during times of stress that may stress others? And so we will incorporate that and we can answer that question um, on next Friday's show. What was the question I saw? You kept going in and out. Yeah. What do you do that comforts you during times of stress that may stress <laughs> others. So we will address that next week because we will be talking about Thanksgiving and Black Friday. And as we talk about Black Friday, we will also talk about what do you do that comforts you during times of stress that may stress others? Wow. Um, yes. We, um, we do have something going on in our community tomorrow that we wanna share. Um, there is a coat drive. I don't know. Is it going on tomorrow, Sissy? No, it's on, no, it's on Monday. It's on okay. Monday. I'm, there it is. Can you see it? Not yet. There we go. It's coming. <laughs> I, there oh, we go. Okay. okay. Manual arms. So give a coat, warm a heart coat drive. And... Yeah. You bring your new or gently used. Again, we we want to represent right. Don't take people a tore up coat that you only have one arm. That you don't even want anymore. Exactly. That, you know, yes, <clears throat> some people say something's better than nothing. Yes, but, you know, you come on. We Yeah, this isn't the garbage bin. It's going to benefit people. Right. This is not just for your trash. Um, right. And so this is, so not only, you know, everything. you can give and you can receive. If you need a coat, you can go by there and 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 get a coat yes. as well. And it is every Monday in December from 9 a.m. to 11 a.m. Oh, okay. Okay. Yep. <clears throat> oh, right there. Oh, okay. So when you, and this, I know where that church is. And when you get off of the Magazine Street exit, is it Magazine Street? Yes, Magazine yes. Street. And you turn Magazine on the street. street, it's a big church, big parking lot. You can't miss it. So coming on Magazine the Street going towards San Francisco? Yes. Yes. Magazine yes. Take, that, take that exit. You're coming to the stop sign. And turn you're going to make a slight left. And then you're going to make a right on 6th Street. Right. And it's the okay. church will be on your right-hand side. Big parking right. lot, big church. You can't, you can't miss it. Right. Okay. Yeah, I know exactly where that church is. So yeah, so you can give a code if you need one. You can get a code. The phone number was on there. We'll post it. Uh oh. 
under the, Sorry. <laughs> we'll post it under the video, but it's Emmanuel Temple Apostolic Church in Vallejo. I'm sorry. That's I'll okay. pull it back up. Yeah, so we want to wish everyone a safe and happy Thanksgiving next week. We won't see you guys before Thanksgiving, but we will be here next Friday after Thanksgiving on Black Friday. And please stay safe. Um, you know, if you're going to be with your family, maintain social distancing, stay safe. Try not to eat too much. Remember to go to <coughs> Baskin Robbins or Cold Stone. Cold Stone. Baskin Robbins. We ended up Baskin Robbins Baskin won. Robin. Won the vote. Maybe you should wait until next Friday to count the votes. Like they can have no, no, all because no. you know people stream no, no, no. still, right? No, no, uh, this no. is mine. This oh, is no mine. Recruiting. No time for recruiting. <laughs> oh. No, 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 no. So Baskin Robbins no. won our live vote during the show. I'm gonna go to the Cold Stone now. I was gonna say that's okay. We can still go to Cold Stone. You have a Cold right. Stone? We do. Wow, Valeria Plaza. Okay. Are you gonna come? Going out in the dark. Curfew oh, starts tomorrow. I'm just if curfew starts tomorrow, make sure that you're right. in after 10 p.m. No, before it's 10. Before. Or before. Be in before 10 p.m. <laughs> Don't go back out till after 5 a.m. Right. <laughs> yes. Again. We well, don't have money to bail anybody out. Right. Don't tell them Fun Facts Friday said I could stay out. No, be inside before 10 p.m. and don't go back out until after 5 a.m. Unless right. you're an essential Unless worker. Unless it is for essential going to back and forth to work. Yes. So, and I think that everybody should look up the definition of essential worker. So, because I don't want anybody saying, well, I'm essential. Well, what do you do? Pope what yes. makes you essential? Okay. Okay. Add that to the list. This here is what you can do. Be home by 10 p.m. and stay home until 5 a.m. This is in effect from November 21st, which is tomorrow, until December 21st. What you can do during those times are go to the grocery or drugstore, walk your dog, get takeout from a restaurant. And if you are on your way home from work, do not think you just have to stop in the middle of the road because it's 10 o'clock. Please, <laughs> Please get home safely. <laughs> oh no, I can't drive. Right, oh, it's right. 10 o'clock. So, yes. So that's there. You can look that up. Um, this is on kcbx.org. So, we will see you guys next Friday. Same time, same place. See you Sunday. You see see you Sunday, Sunday in the chat. Sunday in the chat. Sunday in the chat. Deuces. Bye. Deuces.